I've recently shown you a few different smart home products that you can control with your Google Home. Now, each of these products needed their own application to set up, but I ran into a problem where I wasn't able to connect them to the Google Home. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to connect them all through one application and use them all with your Google Assistant. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can get all of these devices connected through the Smart Life application. So the first thing that you need to do is download the Smart Life app. Now this will work if you have any of these products and any other app that connects with the Smart Life application. So if you buy another product that I'm not talking about today, and it talks about linking through the Smart Life in the Google Home app, this video will work for you. So I'm gonna show you how you can resync these to Smart Life and then connect them to the Google Home. Let's dive in. Previously, when I connected each of these smart products, they each needed their own application, but by the end of the video, we'll be able to delete all of these apps and use only the Smart Life application. To get started, go and download the Smart Life app. The next thing that you'll need to do is resync these to the application. So here I have already connected the outdoor plug, which is this Coolertron product right here. Now it's showing offline because it's not plugged in. I've also gone through and already linked one of the crazy links outlets. So there I can turn it on and off very easily. Next, we're gonna pair this crazy links outlet. So for many of these devices, you just need to hold them down for about 10 seconds until you see them reboot. Now some of the other ones like the light switch, you'll have to turn it on and off multiple times to make sure that it works. So here on the top, we can see that the light is flashing. That means that it is ready for us to pair. So we just need to go into the top of the Smart Life app, be connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So here I'm going to swap over to the Bristow network, which is my 2.4 gigahertz. I'm gonna head back to the Smart Life app, and then I'm gonna click plus in the top right-hand corner. And here, this is an electrical outlet, so I just need to select electrical outlet. And then here it asks if the device is rapidly blinking, and if it's not, you can click there to see how to put it in pairing mode. And I'm going to click confirm, and there I'm going to type in my Wi-Fi password to connect the device to my Wi-Fi. Then we need to wait for this to connect. All right, there it goes. And then we could change the name right here. I have it already set to Office Light 2. And then I'm going to select Done. Now we can go ahead and quickly give that a try. And we can just turn it on or off just like that. And then we have all the same options that we had in the other applications that we tried, the Jinview app. We have the switch, the countdown, and the timer. So we can go back and now we can see all of our lights right there. I can turn on the overhead light because I've already gone through and done the same for that. And it's great because this is all in the Smart Life application. So now I'm going to go back into the Google Home application. And whenever you're connecting a smart product, be sure to add this to the first account that activated the Google Home or any of the accounts that activated the original smart products. I'm going to click the menu in the top left, and then I'm going to click Home Control. So here we're just going to click the plus in the bottom left, and then I'm gonna go down here and find the Smart Life application. Now there is another app that you are able to do this for, it's the Tua app, and it will connect through Smart Life as well, but we did this all through Smart Life. I just think it's very seamless and the easiest way to do it. So now I'm in Smart Life, and when you first activated the app, you will have needed to create an account, so I'm just gonna type in that information. Now that we've added our password and information down here, it's gonna say which app you connected. So before, if you connected the Jinvu smart app, it would only connect that product, or the Odom smart app, it would only connect that. But now, since everything is linked to Smart Life, it will connect all of them at once. So I'm gonna click Smart Life, I'm gonna select Link Now, and then we need to authorize the Google Assistant to be able to change and control those devices. Now you can see I have those three devices that have linked right here. I have the office light, the overhead light, and I'm going to click done. And we could assign a room to them right now. I'm gonna go in, click this, and add it to the office. And also the overhead light are all in the office. So now we can see that the Smart Life app is there. I just plugged in the outdoor plug so you can see that that is active so we can turn that on and off. But now that did not show up in the Google Home app. So if we go through and repair a device through the Smart Life app, 
to get it to show back up into the Google Home app, we don't actually have to repair it or anything. All you need to say is, hey Google, sync lights. Sure, syncing devices for four providers. So if you add other smart products to the Smart Life app, you should be able to ask the Google Assistant to sync my devices or sync my lights. And then when you go back into the Google Assistant application, you will see that it now has added all of those devices. So now I have all of those in one, I don't have to keep changing the accounts that I'm linked to, and I can actually use them all where before I was only able to have one at a time. So now let's test out if all of these work. Hey Google, turn off my office lights. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me to learn all about how to connect all of these through the Smart Life application. I hope it helped you in setting up your smart home. If you have any further questions about this process, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.